There is no happiness without suffering. There is no growth without discomfort. Like, imagine you wake up and sit on a couch scrolling through TikTok. Do you feel great? Do you feel happy? Now, imagine the exact same situation, but before you sat on a couch, you had a two-mile run. Does it feel different now? Of course, you'll feel much more happy sitting on the exact same sofa. Because now, you can finally rest from a pure 20-minute suffering session. You understand that you deserve to rest that you accomplished something, that you did something you hate. Literally, the only way to get happiness is to deserve it. Deserve it through suffering. Imagine two people, both are riding a Lambo. One of them worked a lot and was able to buy it himself, and the second one got it as a gift from his dad. Who is generously gonna get more positive emotions from the car? Of course, the one that worked his ass off to get this car. He had to suffer for multiple years, going back and forth, building connections with other people, and finally building a successful business, rather than a guy that got it as a gift because he graduated from school where he didn't learn anything and only smoked weed with his friends. You have to do what you hate, to sacrifice, to get what you like, not the other way around. This is actually the biggest problem with people who drink, smoke weed and use drugs. They choose to be happy first and then suffer from the consequences. Again, adding even more alcohol and to their blood to feel great again, falling even deeper in the rabbit hole, rather than suffering first and then being happy as a consequence. People are not designed to always be happy. It is biologically impossible. Dopamine is limited. You cannot feel very happy for eating a candy if you didn't suffer before it, for example, working out in the gym or doing any other sport. If you do something you hate, even if it is something small like a 10-minute plank or 60 push-ups, you will feel glad that it's over and even a bit pissed off and ready to conquer. You will generously feel more motivated and happy to push yourself forward, to build discipline. But it do not mean that you have to base your entire life around something that you hate. If you hate literature, you should not go and just become a writer and go against yourself. No, you should still choose something that you find interesting, something that you'd like to investigate. If your work is based around something that you don't like doing, the results you're gonna achieve are going to be trash. Plus, you'll burn out quickly. No matter what you do, there are still gonna be parts of the working process that you do not enjoy or find hard to do. But completing them will bring most of the positive emotions to you. That's why all the motivational and educational gurus out there be saying that if you have a task, firstly, do all the hardest aspects, the one that you hate, and only then move to the easier ones. It's because completing these tasks will bring you so much inner fulfillment and happiness that it will push you to easily completing all of the assignments that are left on your table. Suffer first to then be happy after. Go to the gym, suffer three times a week, to then have a good physique the entire life. Suffer for two hours a day, learn new skills and find new opportunities to then be happy for the rest of your life, completely free. Start doing something that you hate for at least 10 minutes a day. Do the plank pose, do some push-ups. When it becomes easy, you will start enjoying it and it would no longer be considered a suffering. It will make you stronger. If you do not get used to doing something that you hate, if you do not get dedicated, you won't be able to achieve much in your life. The choice is yours. You either suffer the pain of discipline or you suffer the pain of regret. Subscribe if you enjoyed and see you in 7 days. Bye.